Hey, 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 it's another day. It's a leaving day. It's another leaving day. We've been in Presque with our friends for the last week or so. Knocked out a whole bunch of projects here in the camper, including the yeah, most important a, one. Got a lot done. The shower is now rebuilt. Shower's done. And beautiful. Water pump's working again. Yeah, put a new water pump in. What else did we do? We did I mean, a lot. The inverter we got working before we got here. Yeah. Changed we the, got a new the fuel, fuel pump. pump. Our fuel filter. Fuel filter. Yeah, I got to learn how to do that. That was fun. Thank air you. Filter. Thank you, YouTube. Put in an air filter. New thing for me as well. Yeah. Did a lot of stuff. And it shows in this camper that it is definitely time to go. Oh, something else really important happened. What? Oh, the beard. I woke up and, and the beard was gone. The beard was gone. There was a pile of fur outside <laughs> and I asked Huckleberry, did you take it? And Huckleberry didn't answer. I asked Everest if she took it and she has enough fur of her own. She doesn't need my fur. So it's gone. It just happened magically yeah. in the middle of the night. I don't mind it. She doesn't mind it. I miss it. <laughs> The biggest mistakes I ever make in life are when I shave my beard. <laughs> Everything else I can live with, but it's going to take me a couple weeks to get over it, which just means it'll be back. Something like that. So <laughs> I'll be back at some point. We're excited because this is another southward trek for us today. We leave Prescott and we're going to head down to Phoenix. We're going to spend a day down there doing errands, getting all of our last minute stuff before Baja. Aldi! Aldi. Aldi. We haven't been in an Aldi in a while. Gonna get to see my sister who just moved to Phoenix hey. from Abu Dhabi, from the Middle East. She is working over there. Um, so we're gonna spend the evening with her and then watch some football in the morning and then make a westward trek because we'll be south and then we're gonna move west toward Yuma. Yeah. God willing. So we're gonna do something new that we haven't done yeah, yet. I know. That's exciting. And we'll bring you along. A little intimidating. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do something <laughs> that uh, that you will appreciate, especially if you're an older traveler. Um, lots of our friends that are older travelers have had that experience before that we're going to take you to. We are not that old, but we are going to still take advantage of the fact that there is a really cool service. So let's get to it. Let's go. Let's load up and go. Well, we are on the road and it has been a um, start and stop, start and stop. The city of Prescott or the town of Prescott has uh, decided for Veterans Day they're going to shut down every road possible. Um, all the crossroads. It, it was a nightmare getting out of there. We had to go 45 minutes up and out of our way into Prescott Valley. Um, and then we were stopping at an RV store to get some new uh, reflector light covers for the cab over. We realized that the hail sometime during the summer had destroyed a couple of those light covers. And of course they didn't have the right ones, the right size. And then uh, we were stopped at Tractor Supply to get dog food. We need one 40 pound bag of dog food. And Lindsay just found out that Victor's has a recall on all of their dog food. So even the dog food we've been feeding the dogs now is on recall. So that's been fantastic. I did fill up on propane at the RV store. That's about the only thing that we've done that was on our list to do. Um, but we are, we've got two strikes, maybe three strikes against us between the dog food, the light cover, and getting the heck out of Prescott. Um, but we're on our way to Phoenix. We're two car in it right now. Um, there's a really steep grade on the interstate. And uh, we've been doing, we're gonna be doing errands when we get into Prescott, or when we get into Phoenix. And uh, we had to do our errands when we were in Prescott. So we just decided to two car it until we get down to Phoenix. And then when we leave Phoenix tomorrow, we'll, we'll hook up and be one unit again. Even though it just takes a couple minutes with the Roadmaster um, Nighthawk tow, tow bar kit. It was just something that we decided, I decided it would be less stress in coming down some of these grades for a very long time. Uh, we dropped down into Phoenix, and Phoenix is virtually flat, but we drop a thousand or two thousand feet in elevation on the way to get there. So anyway, that's where we are right now. Um, we are, we're on a losing streak, but we're going to get caught up and we're going to be winning soon. Uh, I'm just trying to get everything done right that will be uh, involved in getting new dog food for the dogs, finding another RV store to get those light covers, and, uh, and then all the other errands we have. Aldi, Walmart, and something else I already forgot. Oh, Discount Tire to get our tires rotated and balanced. So we're heading there now, we're heading to Discount Tire first, and then we'll do all the other stuff when they're working on our tires, hopefully. God willing. When it comes to safety, tires are our first priority. And so we are not affiliates for Discount Tire. Can't give you a link that gets you any kind of discount or any of that stuff. 
Um, but we love Discount Tire. For the last five and a half years we've been on the road, we've had Discount Tire as our tire provider. And we put big, chunky, all-terrain Toyo tires, the biggest we can fit on our, our um, RV, in this case our motorhome, but before it was our truck camper. Um, we put the biggest Toyo tires. We love Toyo. We love Discount Tire. We can find Discount Tire in like 39 states which is great, particularly when you're full-time, you can just pull over every 5,000 miles, get the rotating balance. Um, super important to keep up with your tire care and your tire wear. And uh, so we're at Discount Tire right now on the northeast side of Phoenix, over near Cave Creek. We're gonna go and get our tires rotated and balanced. It's gonna take a couple hours to get that done. So while they're working on that, Lindsay and I are gonna load up and we're gonna go run some errands for Baja stuff. And we'll talk a little bit about why we pack up and what we pack, what we consider for those of you who might be planning a trip to Baja. Whoa, hello. What you got? I've got uh, sunglasses over my <laughs> eyeglasses. <laughs> That's what should, I got. Should you be driving? <laughs> I also have a quarter. What's the quarter for? Because we're at Aldi. Yeah. We had to go search for it because there's no Aldi's. The only Aldi's out in the West are in Phoenix. Yeah. And we're in Phoenix. So. So we're going to do Aldi. Yeah. Let's go. We struck out again. Today is a day of strikeouts. Um, good thing baseball season's over. I don't even know why I'm using a baseball analogy. I don't watch baseball. But uh, this Aldi is under construction and closed. There's no indication of that before we got here. So we're going to go find another Aldi because Phoenix has Aldis all over the place. So we're going to go do that. Aldi, take two. Take two. We found one that's open. And Are we've we been... Yeah, we've been here before. We've been here before. It's crazy how that works when you <laughs> travel tens of thousands of miles a year and you come across the same place that you've been before. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go do this. Success. I'd say success. We yeah. finally got some wins. We got pretty much got all of our errands run. Discount Tire did a great job getting us back on the road with our tires while we went shopping at Aldi. Yep. Then we came back, grabbed the car, grabbed the RV, and we went to Wally World and then got to meet my sister for dinner. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. It was a good dinner. And now we're at another great dinner place. Cracker Barrel. Thank you, Cracker Barrel, for being so amazing to RVers and allowing mm -hmm. us to camp overnight to park overnight not to camp um, but thank you Cracker Barrel for being amazing and allowing that to happen we're on the southwest side of Phoenix right now a town called Goodyear and uh, there's a really awesome Cracker Barrel here we'll go get breakfast in the morning we already ate dinner but we always like to support the businesses that support us yep. and so that's one of the, the features of being here and one of the I guess give backs in exchange for being able to park here overnight is we want to support the business as well. So we'll go in and get a, an old timer breakfast in the morning. A big old pot of coffee. <laughs> Sounds good. We're going to show you really quick what we do when we park at a place like this overnight. We don't do our full setup, of course, for nighttime. Um, we're going to walk you through some of the things that we do with our particular setup um, because it's kind of unique to us. Um, but it might give you some ideas if you're again, just crashing overnight in a place. Mm -hmm. Um, just for one night for a couple hours. So let's get started. So when we have a quick stopover uh, for just one night, we have these lovely curtains that I have hanging up on a little curtain rod here. And instead of just putting up, we have like a little windshield cover, but it can be a little bit of a hassle. We only put it up if we're staying somewhere longer than a few days. This is just quick and easy. Where'd hub, the dog go? Hub got covered up. Where's the dog? <laughs> There's a dog. So I put this curtain out. You cannot see through it. Surprisingly, it's very, it's got a lot of privacy. Yeah, and, and it's just, um, it's just a drop cloth that I bleached. It's nice. And then obviously we level if we're not level, but we're pretty level here. 
so not gonna worry about that. <laughs> if we leave our car hooked up to the RV, we need to unplug the electrical cord, otherwise our batteries will run dead in the car. We learned that the hard way. In a beautiful place. Yeah. <laughs> Isolated. So, <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so make sure to unplug your electrical connection to your car if you leave it hitched up. Um, other than that, you know, we just have a couple things that we move from the bed to the front seat. What are those things? Our guitar and our ukulele. And that's it, really. And some pillows. Yeah, and some pillows if we decide to. And Starlink. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we move some pillows and Starlink to the front. Yeah, because we have Starlink now. Yeah. So other than that, so that's it. It is time for bed. It's Saturday night, and uh, tomorrow there's football. And we actually have something to look forward to, being from Jacksonville. It's been many years since the Jaguars were um, worth watching, I guess. And uh, and the Jaguars are doing really well this year. Yeah. And they're playing the 49ers, and I think both teams have only lost two games. So it's a big game, and we're going to go check it out. Gonna, my sister's going to drive over to our side of town tomorrow. And now uh, we're going to go, I think, to Buffalo Wild Wings and watch some football. Yeah. Before we head Excited. to Yuma. It's bedtime. I'm tired. We'll see you in the morning. Hey, Lindsay, you want to know perhaps the best part about waking up at Cracker Barrel? What is that? Besides Cracker Barrel, the food? Uh, waking up at Cracker Barrel? Waking up and being able to wear a t-shirt and shorts. Oh, yes. We have not woken up in the last almost month, probably where the temperatures haven't been at or below freezing. Yeah. Okay, Phoenix. good morning. Thank you, it's Phoenix. It's very warm, and there goes our church service. It is Sunday morning, and we are watching church, our River City Church back in Jacksonville, Florida, which is pretty awesome. No matter where we travel, we get to do that. That was a bonus. I wasn't thinking that was going to happen. Uh, I just wanted to talk about how great it is that the weather is very, very nice right now. It's very nice. It's great football weather yeah. for watching football on Buffalo Wild Wings. Yep. That's what we're going to do next. Yep, we got a couple hours till then. So we're going to watch church and then um, hang out a little bit and then we'll go in. Hang out with Chris's sister again. Watch some football. Yay. Yay. And then, go Jags. Yep, go Jags. I can't believe we said that. Wow. Duval! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Duval! <laughs> What they do. If you know Jacksonville, you know that is the Jacksonville Jaguar Jaguar unique call. And Lindsay, Duval. Lindsay does it pretty <laughs> pretty spectacularly. So go Jags. We'll see you on the flip side. Well the football game sucked. Yeah, the football game was terrible. Jaguars dropped the ball literally quite a bit. And the 49ers ran all over them. But they stopped McCaffrey from getting his record, which is great because they were trying to get junk plays at the end of the game. Yeah. And you don't do that in the pros. Anyway, I feel like I've been preaching a lot in this video. It's time to go to Yuma. Yeah, Yuma. I'm gonna go through Gila Bend, which has a personal connection for us now. Oh yeah. And now uh, we're gonna stop for gas in Gila Bend and keep on going to Yuma where we have another special connection. We travel with purpose and we try to connect with people as we travel mm -hmm. and those two places remarkably of all the places in the country where well, we do have other connections with people. Um, we met some really amazing strangers in both circumstances. So Lindsay will share, share with you those as we get going. Um, but for now I'm getting a little anxious. I want to get some miles behind us. So we are ready to yeah. roll. You ready to go? He's ready. Hawk's ready to go. Where's Evie? She's playing she's, with her new toy. She's working on her toy. Which I need to send them. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hit the road. <laughs> so the cool connection that we have with Gila Bend is um, last year, a spring of 2022, we had just left Baja and we were on our way to Phoenix and we drove through this tiny little town of Gila Bend and just on the other side, just outside of town, we are, I mean, we are on a pretty busy road. It was a busy road. Um, and we see this car pulled over on the side and we see what looks like this young woman young pregnant woman and she's trying to change a flat tire and we don't always stop to help people a lot of times we'll check to see if the person's okay but we saw her and this was a busy road and nobody was stopping to help her 
So we decided we were going to turn around and we were going to help her change her flat tire. So we just had this feeling that I had this feeling. I saw her and I'm like, we need to turn around and help her. And so we did. So we turned around, we went back and sure enough, um, she was struggling and she had her young son in the back seat. Um, so we stopped and Chris put her donut on. All she had was a donut. She did not have a, a spare. So we decided then I um, looked up and found a, um, a the closest tire shop that had a tire that would fit her car and called them and they said, yep, we have a tire. You can come in. Um, so we decided that we would follow her or she could follow. We would follow her. So I gave her directions to the tire shop and we followed her to the tire shop and we ended up uh, buying a tire for her while we were there. So she was super happy, super nice lady. Um, yeah, it was, and uh, the other crazy thing about the story is after we left her at the tire shop with the new tire, we continued our drive into Phoenix and we get in traffic and we pass this horrific accident, horrific accident on the road that we had just stopped basically, you know, 45 minutes earlier, um, to stop and help and to help this lady. And, um, this accident looked like, it looked like it had happened right around the time frame of when we had turned around to help her. It didn't look like a, you know, super fresh accident. It, that's what it looked like. So we were thinking, wow, if we had not had stopped and turned around to help her, and it was a semi truck accident. The semi truck looked like it had crossed two lanes of traffic and crashed on the other side. I have pictures. Looked very bad. And we we're like, man, if we hadn't stopped to help her, we would have been hit by that semi truck we would have been hit by the semi truck. And yeah, it's just crazy to think about that. Now that we're back in Gila Bend right now, those memories come, you know, flooding back. Yeah, that's what would have happened. I'm mean, we're sure of it. So stop and help. <laughs> if you see a person and you feel an any inkling that you should stop and help that person stop and help them because yeah if you don't something else bad i mean it could it could happen well we made it to yuma we i think are we in the same spot where we camped last year i think we're one spot over one spot over so we're really really dang close to where we camped last year at this campground it is a passport america campground we're passport america members if you don't know about it link in the description below of course um, but we save 50% on camping. We get three nights here at 50% off. So it's yep. $25 a night. Perfect for us. For a full hookup. For a full hookup. It's exactly what we yeah. need. We are 15 minutes away from the border to be able to get to Los Algodones in the morning. And now uh, we have a sad story we'll tell you about our friend Frank, yeah. who, um, who we met last year. Um, but we'll tell you about that in the next episode. For now, we're here in Yuma. We made it. Thanks again for being a part of our wander. We wouldn't be out here doing this if we didn't know you were wherever you are doing what you're doing, watching us right now. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, leave us a positive comment, and uh, tell your friends and family about the journey that we're on to make the world a better place by pursuing abundant life on the road. Thanks again, and we will see you in the next episode, where you'll see us. They'll see us. <laughs>